home. Life's out of control. He said he bought it. We called him in his bluff. And now that nigga want no smoke. He don't go everywhere. I'm trying to answer all my guests. Mm -hmm. And you're in a profession where a lot of things arise. You got performance anxiety. You got to make sure that people are fucking with the music you're putting out. You're doing a lot. And that could just like cause stress. You could cause you to be overwhelmed. Go as in depth as you like. But what are you going to tell for that right now? Just really, I'm relaxed now. But a while ago, I was like overwhelmed because it's like a lot of people don't understand what this music shit. You, you're the one, bro. Like they look at you now that the whole aspect changed. You're not that same little kid no more. That they just like, right, he gonna be signed one day. But now you, the pressure, like if you fuck up, we all fuck up. So it's yeah. like you're the dependent. So it's like a lot of stress was on me because I'm like, damn, like everything moving slow. But after a while, just talking with my mom, talking with my father, it's just like you don't gotta feel that way. Like, be a kid still. Yeah, we, I'm 17, but shit, I miss being a kid. Like, I'm still a kid. So it's like, yo, be that kid that you are mm -hmm. and maintain it. So, like, remember, priorities come first. So, like, with the men mental health shit, it's like, I had other shit I was going through too, like depression and shit like that. But it's like, with that right there, my music was my savior. So whenever mm -hmm. I fell down or something, I'll just go lock in, really just write songs or whatever, just write. I'm big on poetry too, so, like, that's how music started as well. I started off as poetry. It's just mental health is big, but I feel like people don't pay attention to that more. Facts. Your mental health is I everything. I don't know what asking that question. Like, how you yeah, feeling? That's a great question. Your mental health is everything, bro. Your mental health. If you're not here, your, your body dead, bro. Your soul is gone. So mm -hmm. you always got to be here no matter what you are. Like I said, don't let it break you. Mm -hmm. Everything, every situation can make or break you. I'm pretty sure you went through some shit before and it's like, damn, like I feel like... I can't really uh -huh. feel me, and it's like a lot of shit. Be shit with my brother sometimes. Like I, I often feel I'm big on my brother. So like when my brother going through shit, I'm going through shit. So it's yeah. like damn, how can I make my brother happy? Or my two little brothers, it's like damn, I don't want my two little brothers to look at me like oh they go to school like yeah my brother make music uh -huh. and they be like oh but where your brother at? And I'm yeah. still here. It's just like I don't want to be that. Feel me? I'm also very big on autism too. Like my little brother got autism, uh -huh. so it's like. I'm very big on that. Like, once I get enough money, I'm giving back uh -huh. to the autism awareness. But yeah, mental health is very important, bro. Like, I feel like people don't pay attention to that enough. Like, people don't be caring because social media block out everything, bro. Yeah, it, so it makes like, it look like it's a bad thing. Yeah, so it's like, it's not a bad thing at all. Everybody go through what they go through. It's like, you're human, bro. Like, I seen uh -huh. Kyrie Irving say the other day, like, yo, it's okay to be human. And like, yeah. that hit home for me because a lot of people don't know, like, people have random mood swings. And sometimes people, like, let's say, you going through something, right? Mm -hmm. And instead of pick, bigging you up, I'd be like, you acting like a bitch. Yeah. And then she's like, you're not supposed to do that. That's how a lot of us grew up. Yeah. Like, with, with our friends or even with parents, like they would tell us, like when we feel a certain way, like man up. Yeah, like, it's just like, sometimes it's all right. Like it's all right to cry. Like, I tell my little brother that all the time. Like, yo, it's all right to do that. Like mm -hmm. don't feel like you got to grow up. Stay the kid you are, bro. It's all right to not not say like that. But it's all right to be a virgin. It's yeah, all right yeah, to yeah, not have sex. It's all right to not know a lot of shit. It's different from the norm. Yeah, it's just be a sponge, bro. Like, get as much knowledge as you're supposed to get as possible, bro. Mm -hmm. So it's just, I appreciate you asking that. That's a great question. Of course. Thank you. What should we expect from you for the rest of 2021? Just me. Like, that's all I can give you. Uh, everything I got in me, like, everything as far as music, more singles coming out, because I don't really be dropping like that, bro. Mm -hmm. I be wanting to let my shit, like, get higher and higher and higher, but I realize people want content. Yeah. So that's my bad on my end. I'm dropping more content, definitely visuals, a lot yeah, of videos, features. So when can we expect like another? I know, I know you said singles, and yeah. you know, not to like rush or anything. When not can we expect like another EP or another album? EP. Everybody, everybody got different timelines. Yeah, yeah. EP on my birthday. Oh, November, November first. first. Yeah. Um. Heartbreaks and insecurity. Oh, you already got the name. Cause it's a different side of me. Five. That, no, that's seven months from now. Shit. Okay. Yeah. So from now, it's just singles. I got a song called Bad that I'm about to drop. Okay. Like sometime, I might just drop it this week. Sure. Yeah. I'm home. I'm going to it. Uh, but I, I really, it's a summer vibe, so okay. I really want, I'm going to send it to you. Yeah, please you know do. That. People probably like, yo, why he got that title and shit like that, but I went through a bad little, like, I don't want to get in depth, man, but I went through like a bad yeah. little situation and all the music I was making at that time was about the situation. Okay. Since I got like thousands of songs, like just about the situation, I feel like people really, like, shout out to A Boogie. Like, once I was about to say, I was about to say, A Boogie Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, shout out to A Boogie. Not bad, like, I'm not yeah, yeah, bad. Yeah. Mouth in the person is just what I went through, like uh -huh. these situations I went through, man. Heartbreaks and insecurities. Like, that's not a for sure thing, though. Mm -hmm. I might do a victory part two, okay. but name it something else. It's just oh, that shit. Call it Be Free. Yeah, Be Free. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Be Free. I got a lot. I'm about to make a song called Be Free. Man. <laughs> that's a big trend right now. Yeah. Be Free, but I got a lot of shit up my sleeve, bro. This is just a little funny question. Have you had like a, like an Ella moment yet? Like, 
With the picture that she just posted? Yeah, man. Like that? In July, man. Oh, um, man. Two days after. She posted, you should enjoy yourself. I said, oh, shit. That shit hurt. Like, it's like, like, it's like the you knife. feel me? It's like happiness is everything, bro. So it's it's cool for me. I don't really be into that shit. I just be on my own shit, bro. Mm -hmm. be chilling. You gotta be like Quavo told her to take care of. Keep that. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's some asshole shit, bro. Mm -hmm. nah, I had an other moment multiple times. Like, my first girlfriend, like, fuck my best friend. So I was like, whoa, I was in middle school. So like oh, that's I not having her. I was in middle I school. Like my first my first first girlfriend I had fucked my best friend. So it was just like, oh shit. You still cool with the with the friend? Oh hell yeah. My problem never with the nigga, bro. Oh, okay. Like I ain't never got a problem. That's real shit. Right I don't never got a problem with a nigga. Like it's like you you fuck my bitch, bro. You doing me a favor? Yeah, you doing me a favor, you open in my eyes, or you take my bitch, bro. It's cool. I don't never got a problem with the nigga. Like baby said, like, I don't even know how to take a nigga come to me about I fuck this bitch. Like, I don't even know how to take that because it's like you fuck my bitch, it's cool, bro. Like I'm having a problem with you. I got, I got a problem with her, bro. So that's what my problem is. You feel me? What do you want your legacy to be? I just want people to say, yo, he gave back. Like, he was an activist. Because that's another thing that I want to lead into, too. Like, mm -hmm. my goals for music, like, a lot of people don't know. I want to make music for about five years, six years. Like, when I'm on, though, like, when I'm up wow. and become an actor. Oh, I, really, okay. I really want to be an actor, bro. Like, okay. that's, that's something that like, I want to do. You really are just an entertainer. Yeah, I'm just an entertainer, bro. I, I do everything, bro. I want to be an actor and I want to be an activist. Okay. But for my community, though, not only my community, yeah, but start yeah, off yeah. from my community because that's where I come from. So and just really give back. So when it's all saying that, I want people to say, yo, that nigga was special. Once every century type shit. Like, I just want people to say, you get people like him once in a blue moon. Like, you, you're not going to get that another 10 years, 15 mm -hmm. years. Like, something like a Michael Jordan, a Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Michael Jackson. Like, you're not going to get that. generation type. Yeah, you're not going to get that again. So I just mm -hmm. want people to be like, yo, even if I don't make it, like, let's say shit for a love. And shit for a love is just, I just want people to know, like, my intentions was always pure. I want to make it, bro. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, like, I just want to be the one to show people, like, you can do it, bro. Look where I came from. Yeah, if exactly. I could do it, you could do it. So it's just one of those. What kind of movies do you want to, like, star in? I, I always want to be an undercover, um, undercover cop. Okay. Like, me and my brother type shit. Like, That's um, cool. 21 Jump Street type, type shit. But I also want to do something like a training day, mm -hmm. like a Denzel, or be like a, something like Bad Boys, shit oh, like okay. that, Rocky. Like, shit like that. It's not like you into comedy and drama at the same time. Yeah, like drama and shit like okay. that. Very emotional movies. I love mm -hmm. emotional movies that put a tear on my face. Jesus. Yeah. Um, and then with the activism side, um, mm -hmm. I know you say you want to start in your hood. What do you think is the biggest thing your hood needs right Bring now? Bring people together. Bring people together, bro. It don't matter where you from. Uh -huh. If you about if you about winning like you say you are, you about the money, nigga, come together, why we? Cause it's like a lot of people with small minded, it's, it's, they enter deep into this shit. Uh -huh. And I feel what they lack is proper guidance. Like they didn't have what I had. And like I said, I can't waste my time and try to bring everything together if people don't want that. Mm -hmm. But if I could, I would. Like they gotta look at the bigger picture. They gotta look at this shit. Like the whites do us in here, bro. Like they wiped us out. We uh -huh. not, like we not supposed to be here. We supposed to be in the private buildings. Like then we supposed to be living the way that they live. Why the hell is it a hundred people in the projects, bro? Like. Probably more than that. They throw us in the projects. It's fucking uh -huh. piss on the floor. Rats running around. Like Niggas is dying every day. They want us to kill each other. They want us to wipe each other out. So it's like, why would I sit here and continue to let that happen? I want to break the cycle. Uh -huh. I don't want to let the cycle continue the next 15, 20 years that when my kids grow up, they got to see this shit and pick a side. <laughs> nah, bro. It, it, it shouldn't have to be that. We all supposed, we all supposed to be together like everybody equal bro whether like, you white you black everybody be together so that's my main thing to do and if i got the power to do that it's all about this everybody got a voice bro it's yeah. how you use your voice you could use your voice in a, in a different manner and, and everything they won't work it's all about how you use your voice you just i gotta bring everybody together man. Mm. it's like a big goal man. that's a beautiful answer <laughs> with that being said let's get to um quick hitters uh how was that video show last sunday movie man it was lit it was a movie um just fun vibes you know all my best friends was there like everybody i love everybody i fuck with was there feel me so just a movie bro all, overall vibe to mm -hmm. me. it's funny because it's the funniest shit the irony of it bro the beginning of the shit right mm -hmm. the pay the full shit somebody driving in the um fucking jeep okay. and it's alpo you know alpo no what is that um the nigga from pay the full that killed Oh, Rich Porter, okay, the man. real nigga that killed yeah, Rich Porter, yeah. it's him driving wow. up. So it was like the iron and it was just like a dope moment. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, it was a dope moment. Were you able to talk to him or he just drove by? Nah, he back. just drove by. Like, That's nah, fine. It was just a, a big thing, but yeah, it was what? What makes the East Side the East Side? 
Man, you don't get no better than the East Side, bro. You got everything, everything. Even though, like I said, it's a lot of drama and shit yeah. like that, it's just the East Side is very small. Mm -hmm. So you bound to see somebody, bro. It's not that small, but it's like the East Side run from like what? Probably like no further than 96th Street. I don't, what make the East Side great is just, I don't, I say, I say the basketball games. You got the little basketball games, cookouts, mm -hmm. shit like that. It's just music, really music. Dipset is what makes the East Side great. We don't get into that. I Some people dipset. say dip from the West, people dip from the East. But if you really know Dipset, the mm -hmm. East Side. But I wouldn't, I can't say what make the East Side great. I feel like. I think you just answered it with the vibe. Yeah, the vibe is everything, bro. Mm -hmm. It's just the East Side. Yo, all right, you got like, all right, for example, you got like, no disrespect, but you got the Bronx for me. Yeah. When you think, but nah, I ain't trying, I ain't trying to play out, bro. I ain't trying to play. You got the Bronx, you got Brooklyn, Staten Island, you got mm -hmm. Queens. But when you think of Manhattan, you think of Harlem. Yeah, yeah. Whether that's West Harlem, Central, East Side, it's whatever you think. But what yeah. makes it so special is the East. Yeah. Without the East Side, there is no Harlem. So. Yeah, um, I know I was talking to Kyle. He was, and I was telling him because you know mm -hmm. the same way you rep the East Side, I rep the South Bronx. Yeah. But yeah. I know the biggest difference I was telling him was that whenever I come to Harlem, you feel the vibe. You feel it like you you, you yeah, step in Harlem, you, you feel it. It's just everything. Whether you see some motherfuckers selling ices, yeah. see a motherfucker like just running in the street. Um, we even sometimes like it's a blood, it's a it's a curse, but like it's, it's bad. Even the gunshots, bro. Yeah. <laughs> motherfuckers hear gunshots. Like that shit that I tell my kid, like, I don't yeah. jungle up running around. I see people get shot at. I see people get stabbed up. Like, uh -huh. That's the shit you see is a vibe, like crazy. It'll make yeah. or break you for real. Uh, and then I was telling them, they was telling me, and I agree, like Harlem, you the vibe is there, South Bronx, you gotta yeah. find it. But once you find it, it's similar. And another point about East Harlem. Well, Harlem in general is the food. I love the food out there. I, love you. I would go to one and first and go to Hodges. What you know about Hodges, bro? They got good chopped cheese. How do you know about that? I, I just looked it up and they was like, yo, this is where you made the chopped cheese. And yeah, I tried that's, it. that's the original. That's the, if you ever, look, I'm going to look into the camera. If you ever want to go to the east side, man, get you a chopped cheese, you got to go to Hodges. If you don't go to Hodges, you're not, you not valid. Yeah, you got to go to Hodges and get the chopped it's cheese. Valid, I had Hodges yesterday. Oh, you did? Well, yeah. what's your order? My go-to order is a chopped cheese, ketchup, mayonnaise, lettuce, onions. I'm not going to go, you with the ketchup, mayonnaise. It's all good, though. Yeah, yeah, nah, what's, what's your order? Uh, I would get uh, meat, cheese, probably some lettuce, peppers, onions. No sauce? Uh, you get no sauce. So bro, trust me, bro. You got to get a ketchup. Uh, you know, I like ketchup? Like ketchup on mayonnaise. Get some honey mustard. Yeah, I tried that. Wasn't it? It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I, I mean, if you weren't making music, what would you be doing? I didn't know the answer to this question, but I'll be in WWE. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm fucking shit. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I thought you were going to say both, but yeah, nah, I think that's your answer. I would have been an actor. Like, I really would be dead ass. Like, I would have been an actor. Oh, uh, okay. Because basketball is just like, that's a hit or miss. And you got yeah. it. You got to want it. And it's like, basketball, I would have been an actor, though. Um, if you could perform for five people, or three three to five, five people, dead or alive, who would they be and what songs would you perform? My mom. My aunt. If I could bring her back yeah, and watch, yeah, yeah. watch me perform. Michael Jackson. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my father, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, probably Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. That's different. Whitney Houston, I'll probably say Nip. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. Just a little white, little crowd. Like, no, it's a lot of people that that's why I really kind of pick. But I perform, um, I perform Victory, Love Letters, Only Fans, and I'll probably perform like a Michael Jackson song or something yeah. like that. Like, something that I really love. Like, You Rock My World, mm -hmm. um, Whitney Houston, um, I Had Nothing. Cause mm -hmm. that's my mom shit right there. So I perform that with my mom. Oh, the Nipsey Hustle dedication, Victory Lap, the intro. I perform that. I like that you brought up a couple. I'm assuming they're your favorite artists. Cause as next question, before I ask you, do not get canceled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I already know. Nah, it's all good though. Music, Mount Rushmore. There's four people in Mount Rushmore. Oh, fuck, yeah, well, you put me on some shit. I, I, I you you got honorable mentions, mentions and um, it's, it's it's your favorite. It's not only hip hop, just all music right. in general. I'm saying this right now, man. To the people that's watching, and say this right now. If you know me, Drake, okay. Wolf Rip, like that's my favorite artist, like of all time. Like Drake and Michael Jackson, they top. I can't wait to pick them. My favorite rapper of all time. People be thinking I'm bugging Lil Wayne. Mm -hmm. okay. Like Lil Wayne is my favorite rapper of all time. I'm going, I'm going I'm to keep Drake out of there because that's my favorite artist ever. So I'm not going to put Drake in that. Now put him in Mount Rushmore? Nah, because he already my favorite. So okay. it's like nobody on that list is topping Drake, no matter okay. if you're my favorite rapper or not. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go Lil Wayne. Okay. It's his four in the Mount Rushmore, right? Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to pick five because I'm, I'm going to pick five. I'm going to go Lil Wayne. I'm going to go Jay-Z. Okay. That's a common name. I'm going Pun. Oh, I appreciate that. That's I appreciate boy. that. I That's appreciate my boy. that. I love pun. I'm going to go pun. I'm going to go Cameron. 
Okay. Cause I gotta go east side. Harlem world. Yeah, Cam on nice. Go Cam. I can't pick five, man. I just can't. I'm gonna pick honorable mentions too. Okay, yeah, let's do that. My fifth though, if I had to pick five to be on that Mount Rushmore with me, I'm gonna pick Big. Biggie, because his storytelling is so unique. So I'm gonna pick Biggie with honorable mentions. I'm going, yeah, I'm going Kanye. I love Kanye. Like, people say whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. Kanye, go. J. Cole. Okay. Nip. Lauren Hill. Mm, that was great. Yeah, yeah, she a girl. I'm putting her in categories with men as well. Like, uh -huh. I can't it's put her good. with just girls. She's building a lot of men. Yeah, I got Lauren Hill in there. Like I said, Michael Jackson and Drake is just solidified. I'm going all Kelly, bro. Mm. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go all Kelly. Yeah, yeah he got time. I'm going to say why I'm going to go all Kelly, though, because a lot of people don't know, like, that man is talented, bro, despite everything. Everybody got their trials and tribulations, bro, uh -huh. but he's still a man at the end of the day. He's talented. You can't knock talent, bro. Every, right. All Kelly, all Kelly, bro. You can't knock that. And I'm going to go with probably last one. I'm probably going to go with another girl, man. I'm going to go with Rihanna. Mm. I just love Rihanna, bro. Rihanna is mad talented. Yeah. If I... Yeah, hell yeah, she's dope, dude. <laughs> That's so good. No, and I appreciate the, I really appreciate the big point one because I'm um, not saying that this is the case, but you know, Dipset, like I'm pretty sure that that's was Harlem. that that Harlem, that's yeah. Harlem, and that helped you. Like, if they can make it, they from my hood, hell yeah, then that's I can make it too. Man. And for me, for my hood is, is big point. I remember um the side of the Bronx I used to live at. I would see uh that that's where the big point mural was at. Yeah. And right now, I you know I work at Dollar Tree. That's beside the point. Yeah. Uh, it's right, it's right around the corner from the mirrors. I see that every day. It's inspiration. It's just, you look at that, and you be like, "Damn, nigga, like that." What's your favorite song by Big Pun? Uh, you put me on the spot. Um, I off the to top, be. Twins. But I really fuck. What with you that. know about Twins, bro? Yo, bro. Oh, he body fat Joe on that. Yeah, he did. That. He, he did. body. I feel like it's better than the original. Yeah, it's better. Hell yeah, with Snoop with Snoop and Dre. Hell yeah, yeah way yeah. better because. You gotta understand the cadence that Big Pun had. Yo. Niggas ain't had that back Stuck in the, the day. Middle, yeah, he, yeah, I can't even in the middle with little diddly diddly. He's Yo, going crazy. And even I used to study the video because yeah. all those spots that's in the vid, it's all in South Bronx. I, that's I, fire. I, I, that's I, fire. I seen all those spots. Yeah. I fuck with Beware. Beware is dummy. Yeah, beware. That beat beware. is so like scary. Yeah, I fuck with um my favorite Big Pun song, man. It's a popular one, but um it's so hard. Oh, that's so hard. Oh, yeah, man. but it's like the, dun, 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 that beat that come on in the beginning. Uh -huh. I love that song. I love um a hundred percent with with Tony Sunshine. Oh, yeah, it's Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican. Yeah. yeah. So that shit right there, yeah. I feel like he went. Yeah, he went crazy. Man, I like um, I just love Big Pun, bro. Big Pun. I remember my mom playing him in the car back in the day. I'm like, who is this nigga? And it's a big body, like big body. Life. Yeah, Spanish life. Yeah, big life. Only the biggest nigga that I know could dunk a basketball, bro. Uh -huh. So it's yeah, like, and I'm like, I like Big Pun, but back to Dipset, man. Dipset yeah. just, Dipset, I remember being young, seeing Jim Jones come to my hood. Like, Word? Yeah, I, I know Jim Jones. Like, I really, like, know Jim Jones coming to my hood and just, he cooled my pops and cooled my uh -huh. family. Jim Jones is, used to come around. Funny. I don't know Cameron, though. I, uh -huh. I know Joel's because my brother used to play football with Joel. I think I like him the most out of the three. My love said, Fat Joe hit me up. Man, shit, he be doing, he be reaching out to I don't really be. Talking about that, I got I got looks from like the, I talked to the game before. Ooh. I talked to those is really the main two though, Fat Joe and the game. And I I sent like what I do is I send my music to artists and stuff like that. And they never reach back. And Fat Joe like really reached back. And I was like, yo, mm -hmm. and when he hit me back up, I posted on my snap. When he hit me back up, I'm like, yo, you don't know what you just did for me. Like I grew up, yeah. like, Fat Joe, Fat Joe. Like he used to come in my hood, have um like little days and shit, like Wilson days, shit like that. Mm -hmm. He always used to come. Like he came like one time, whatever, and he came. And I remember my father telling me when I was young, like yo, I knew him. Like, yeah. like, I know him type shit. And I was just like, damn, Fat Joe had me up. And he was just on something like, yo, you nice. Like, you got talent, keep going. But mm -hmm. when you 18, hit me up. Because, like, I always tell people my age. Oh, Amber Rose hit me up, too. That Ooh. shit was crazy. Like, I said, I don't know why I sent it to her, but she hit me back. And mm -hmm. she was like, oh, this is nice. But same shit, like, if you're not 18, I can't. I was just, I'd be, I'd be getting me tight because I'd be like, yo, my nigga, like, for me. But really, really, really. So what you going to do when you turn 18? I ain't going to hit them up. You know? Why not? Cause who knows? I'm gonna probably be out before I'm 18. Type shit. Yeah. Fuck with that. Well, this next question: Basketball, my rush for? I got a five. Okay. A five. So uh, for you, let's do starting lineup. We don't gotta go out position though. I got a prime D Rose. Cause okay. I'm not gonna say I, no. I got Derrick Rose. D any yeah, Derrick Rose. Everybody in their prime. Yeah. Definitely. I got any Derrick Rose. Rest in peace, my man Kobe. Everybody know I used to go Kobe. I got Cole, Melo, Kevin Durant, and Curry. Curry, but like I, I can't. Like I love LeBron, 
I love LeBron. I used to hate LeBron, but I grew Me to too. I grew to love him. Like that was I my favorite, respect him. I, that was my favorite player first. Oh, and he went to Miami. Yeah. I wasn't jacking when he went to Miami. Yeah. I'm, like, nah, I'm not he he a bum ass nigga, whatever. He went to Cleveland yeah. and I really respected him because it's like whatever people say, that's the GOAT, bro. Uh -huh. Like no man is doing what LeBron is doing. So it was just like LeBron, but I gotta put Shaq in there too. I like Shaq. So oh, you mean on the then? On Al Iverson, mm -hmm. on Like if I could put Al Iverson tied in there with somebody, Al Iverson go in there on Frick. You hard over hype. Mm -hmm. So I got Al Iverson, mm -hmm. T Mac. Oh, I, I fuck with T Mac. I got T Mac in there. Jordan. I like defenders, bro. So I'm yeah. like, I'm gonna go Gary Payne. Oh, okay. oh, I'm lying. I got Jason Kidd and Steve Nash. Oh, I like that. I love, I love J Kidd because that's what they used to say. I play like so. I love J Kidd. I got J Kidd and Steve Nash. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like I like Jokic, bro. Like now, mm -hmm. I love Jokic. A lot of people don't say that. He's, I he's love nice. Jokic, bro. I got oh, I got Tim Duncan. Mm -hmm. I love Kevin Garnett because he I talks shit like me. Too. Like when I'm on the court, talk shit. So I love Kevin Garnett. And that's Chris Paul. Like, it's a lot of like I can't really like pick, but if I had to pick, that would be my foul. Foul with that. Yeah. If you could perform at any event, venue, where would it be? Super Bowl and the Grammys. Okay. That would be dope. But the Super Bowl like would be my biggest performance ever, like for sure. Oh, you want some the weekend shit? Better than the weekend. Yeah. Like, I will come out to it. I would start off coming out to a rock song. Mm -hmm. I'll probably come out to We Will Rock You, bro. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I'll come out to that. And I, I, I'll come out to, um like, I, I'll just bring somebody out. Like, I'll probably come out to a Michael Jackson song like they don't mm -hmm. care about us. And then do some social justice shit and, like, we, like flip it. But it's a, I don't have visions. Yeah, but for the Grammys, I'll perform. This one first, okay. And Sir Cut, I, I was getting this, I knew his name your favorite artist and shit. Mike, Drake, and Chris Brown. You like those entertaining that, niggas. I can't do that. I can't. I feel if I answer that, I'm going against the, the gods of music, bro. I can't. That's what that. I have to ask you. I'm going to answer it just because it's my first time on here when I'm going to answer this. Um, Dang, I appreciate it. I'm going to start Michael Jackson. Okay. Yo, Drake, forgive me for this if you ever see this. I'm cutting Drake and I'm answering oh, Chris man. Brown. No, I can understand it. But the reason I say that, I feel like he literally went over my head. Like Chris Brown is my top three. Like it's Drake, yeah. Chris Brown, Michael Jackson. Like those is my top three. And and I forgot the name Meek Mill too. Like I love Meek Mill. There's a lot of people, but yeah. as far as that, I I feel like performances is where the money at. Yeah, I'm, I've I've been to a Drake performance. Like I've been to a Drake performance. I've been to a Chris Brown performance. I've never been to Michael Jackson performance. But makes sense. Michael Jackson stick his hand out like this. People passing out. Uh -huh. So. Michael Jackson and Chris Brown together, like on stage or even doing a song together, it's over. Uh -huh, like, it's over. Most memorable moment in the studio? When my father came. Ooh, okay. I say my first time, but when my father came in, I didn't expect my father to come in. I was like seeing my one of my parents see how I work. Yeah. It was just a blessing. That's fine. Because that shit I tell my kids, like, yeah, my father watched me record in the studio and he was fucking with it. Once, once you get the okay from your parents, like, right, he's nice. That's the best film ever. I don't, you could tell me, anybody could say I'm trash, but once I get it from my parents, I don't care. I'm fine with that. Last question. Who do you want to see on our journal? Will Cardi, my brother Ja. I want to see you interview Roki. Mm, that's different. I want to see you interview Roki. Um, She's going to love that answer. That's I want different. to see you interview, um, I'm trying to think. It's a lot of people from FDA that got talent. I want to see you um, trying to just shout out everybody, man. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm trying to see you interview Azure. Uh, she be making the pictures and shit like that. Mm -hmm. You heard probably, you know. but mainly like I really, I want to see the Roki one. Like I just want to see like a different, a different perspective from her. Feel me, like because everybody know y'all do shit together. But if one of y'all was to interview each other, like that'd be dope. But definitely Will really Cardi and Ja. Oh, I'm trying to think. It's a lot of people, bro. That ten and in, ten and in. The Beamers. I, I want to see where their mind is at. Like how they. I know. I'm gonna say that here. Can't wait till you earned it, bro. You gotta go get it. So maybe this could be the platform for you to really get on. You feel me? So uh -huh. I want to see you when you go. Um, I want to shout out my brother, all of them, but my my older brother, mm -hmm. my my parents. That's probably gonna watch this interview. Shout out my fans. I want to shout out Andy. Appreciate I gotta shout out him. Shout out the Hood Journal. Um, Appreciate you. Oh shit, I'm um, worldwide lifestyle. I don't know if you like you see me like I be putting worldwide lifestyle and shit, but that's mm -hmm. a movement I'm on like. Shout out Worldwide Lifestyle. Um, shout out Jada General, man. Will Cardi. Shout out my brothers, man. That's watching. Oh, shout out my boy Hassan too. Uh -huh. yeah, I feel like you should interview him. That man, talent. He very, 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 very rich. Yeah, very, oh, yeah, yeah, very, very rich. Yeah, he got a lot of money. But um, <laughs> interview. I feel like him. Shout out him. Um, 
Shout out everybody at FDA, man, that's gonna watch this. Whoever I'm cool, we not cool, I don't really <laughs> care, man. Shout out everybody there, man. Yeah, yeah. He talking about Coach Megan. No, I fuck yeah, nah, nah, I fuck, <laughs> I fuck with Megan, man. Um, but shout out to Esau, man. Just that's it. I'm um, like that. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Bro. I appreciate yeah. that. I'm humbly blessed, man. That's it. What's understood, don't gotta be explained. I ain't gonna big up myself. Y'all already know what it is, man. I already proved myself to a lot of people. Just be prepared and stay tuned. So, yeah. Keeping it short. I like yeah, it. Yeah, keep it short. Right, right. Yeah. That's a wrap, y'all. Thank you for coming, y'all. Yeah. I appreciate you. Say he bought it, we called him in his bluff And now that nigga want no smoke he don't. Girl, everywhere I go huh? Name a neighborhood in Harlem that I can't go Sometimes he laugh and sometimes he cry But I don't know, huh? Ho-ho Rockstar lifestyle, I fell in love with it Still the same nigga, but my back different Did it on my own, ain't do no ass kissing I trapped like an African Pocket seeing dead presidents I adore dividends I am a different